Hello guys and welcome back to chemistry class. This is another episode on chemistry. And of course, in this episode, we'll continue our study on the periodic table. We are now in group 3A. Group 3A, the one we call the boron family. Alright? The one we call the boron family. Please know that this video tutorial, of course, is brought to you by the one and only best CBT practice app. If you don't have that app on your phone, you are doing yourself. In fact, you are doing yourself. <laughs> so, uh, jokes apart is the best practice app you can have on your phone. There's a, there are so many features of the app that will make you succeed in your exam. There's a study mode, there's a practice mode, there's an exam mode, there's a mock mode. You can simulate as if you are in the exam hall. All right, there's a PC version for the app also. So if you need that PC version, just send me a message on WhatsApp on this number 091 Just send me a message on WhatsApp so that I will give you this practice software. So that you can what practice to what with the computer, all right? You can also download for what for schools and for for your friends and what and colleague share the knowledge, right? Oh, of course, it has so many features. Like I will talk about the UTM challenge, one of the best features we have on the app, whereby we conduct what challenge, real exam challenge for all student writing jam for this year, all right? So what we do is that what after the end of the challenge, you release your score just like the way jam will release what's your score. So you see your score per subjects. Right, and of course, you'll be able to know which area your strengths are and which area what you need to what you need to improve on. Right, so so please jump on that app immediately. There's also the question start feature where after studying a particular topic, you can just go and what go to the subject, use the question start feature, click on the subject, then type all the topic, and all the questions on that, that topic will come out for you. So that way you have already studied the topic, you have solved all the questions that Jam has ever set on that word particular topic. You see, that's the way to learn. That's the way to prepare. Then, of course, there's a classroom feature where, as you are studying or as, uh, trying to what, answer a particular question, there's an AI that is there to assist you, to lead you to the answer. It will not tell you the direct answer. It will lead you to it. Thereby, you are understanding why an answer is what the answer you have, you have chosen. So many features. There are games, educational games, to make you what, enjoy, what, uh, enjoy yourself or have fun while you are learning. Sometimes you may, not, you, may, you may not want to read, but of course, you can play who wants to be a millionaire on the app. And of course, the money there is not really low anyway. So you can choose maybe a subject like physics or chemistry or literature or any other, any subject or chemistry or commerce. And then, of course, you answer questions. They will give, they will give you the question they will be asking you or who wants to be a millionaire on the app will be questions on commerce that you have chosen or on economies that you have chosen. So that way, you are enjoying yourself. You feel you are winning money. And of course, you are also worth learning. So wonderful, wonderful features. Jump on the app. I can't talk much about the app any longer. Just jump on the app. If you need the PC version or if you want to activate the app, activation is just 3,000 after downloading. If you want to activate it, just send a message on, to this number on WhatsApp. That is all you need. You don't even need to over call. Just send a message on WhatsApp, send your payment receipt, or you can request for what, how to activate, and then it will be activated for you after payment. All right, now let's head back to group 3A elements. Group 3A elements that we call what the boron family, right? There's no major reason why we call this group the, the, the boron family. One of the major reasons is because boron is the first element in the group. That is why we call it the boron family. So, of course, in group 3A, I'm going to have boron itself. As number one, right? Then I'm going to have aluminium. All right. Then I'm going to have what? Gallium. I'm going to have indium. I'm going to have thallium. And then I'm going to have unutrum. All right. Now I'll first of all start with what? This what? Unutrum. Unutrum is a synthetic element. It's a synthetic element. With atomic number 113. That's atomic number 113, whose properties are yet to be known. Remember when Dimitri Mendel designed what is table of periodic what elements, when he said that what there are some spaces that he left, there are some gaps that he left, that for elements that their properties are yet to be discovered. Unutrum is what one of them. It's a synthetic element with atomic number what 113. All right, and of course, this unutrum has what. Cis isotope, it is highly radioactive. First of all, it is highly radioactive and has six isotopes. And has six isotopes. The, the most stable isotope of unutrum, right, is unutrum 
That is U U T is the symbol Unutrum two eight six is the most stable um isotope of what of Unutrum. All right, this Unutrum is what is very stable and has an half life of just twenty seconds. Of just twenty of what of just what twenty what seconds. Right, so it can what dissolve in what in just twenty seconds. So you can see how very radioactive this element is. All right. Anyway, remember that what the group three elements are trivalent. They are what trivalent. They have a valency of what of three. And the most important members of this group three family is boron and what and aluminium. The most important members are what boron and aluminium. And also remember that aluminium can react with steam. Aluminium can react with steam. That is why you say what H2O and then there are what G beneath it. That is what steam. It can react with steam to liberate what aluminium oxide and what an hydrogen gas. Aluminium what uh, can react with steam. Aluminium can react with steam to liberate what hydrogen gas and what aluminium oxide so when aluminium reacts with steam what gives what the product is what hydrogen gas are going to have h2 hydrogen gas that is the gas now and of course are going to have what aluminium oxide aluminium oxide that's al2o3 all right so that's aluminium what oxide so now that is the product of reaction between aluminium and what and steam the liberate hydrogen gas and aluminium what oxide now i've told you that what that they are that they are trivalent isn't it Aluminium, uh, uh, three elements are what are trivalent. Now, I've known that know that what that aluminium trisocarbonate four does not exist. There's nothing like aluminium trisocarbonate four. Aluminium trisocarbonate four. It does not what exist. But before we will talk about this. You know that what aluminum forms what oxides and what an hydroxide, right? This is the oxide Al2O3. The hydroxide is what AlOH3. All right, this is what this is the hydroxide, and both of them they are what they are insoluble in water. Aluminum oxide and aluminum hydroxide they are both what insoluble in water. Insoluble. They are both insoluble in water, right? Aluminum oxide and aluminum hydroxide are both insoluble in water but they are amphoteric in nature they are amphoteric in nature amphoteric in nature now you may want to ask what is amphoteric or what does amphoteric mean right what you mean by amphoteric is that they can react as both acids or bases some of you you have refused to go and watch all our episodes from episode one that is your problem when we're talking about acid bases and salts, we we'll define what an acid as a proton donor. That is, it donates what proton. And then we we'll define the base as a proton acceptor. All right. Now, amphoteric substances are substances that can react as both acids or bases. That means it can what donate protons, it can also what accept protons. That is why we say that they are what amphoteric in nature. So aluminum oxide and aluminum hydroxide are what both what they are amphoteric what in nature. Now let's talk about boron itself. Now I've told you that what aluminum triazocarbonate does not what exist. So there's nothing like aluminum triazocarbonate for. So the, an examiner may want to use it to confuse you and add it as an option and then you go and foolishly or take it. So please do not be among what the foolish ones all right so there's nothing like aluminum triosocarbonate for now boron itself is very very useful in that it is a useful it is useful in compounds like what we we'll call boric acid right the h3bo3 right one we'll call boric acid and of course in some compounds like what um boron trihydride boron trihydride is what bh3 all right, it is useful. Boron is itself is useful in what in compounds like what boric acid and what boron what trihydride. This boron trihydride can exist as a dimer. It exists as a dimer as what diborane. That is what B two H six. Right, this boron trihydride exists as a dimer as what diborane B two H six. And this diborane is very 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 useful in the hydroboration in the hydroboration of alkenes it is very useful in the hydroboration of what of alkenes which converts what them into what alkanols 
and what and alkenes and alkenes all right so before please take note of this right? so boron is also very useful that's why i say it's one of the most important members of what of the group 3a or family right it is a useful what component of the of compound of useful compounds like boron triiodide and what and the boric acid we'll talk about usefulness of boric acid when we talk about acid bases and salt it is very 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 well useful all right so please if you have not watched the usefulness go there go in fact follow this episode by episode and also if you have not liked this video what you are doing is very wrong please click on that like like button just below the video right now click on the like button make sure you subscribe subscription is free for what this channel all subscription does is to what notify you whenever we release a new video all right so please subscribe and make sure you share to your friends to your class group and to what to your family all right so that is what that's what for what for boron and of course and we say that what uh uh in some compounds like what boron trihydride which is as it as b2 acids this diborane is very very useful in the hydroboration of what of alkanes when we start talking about when, when we jump into organic chemistry soon you start what talking about what all this but for now know that what diborane is useful in the hydroboration of a of of alkanes of alkanes right which converts into what alkanols or alcohols and what and alkanes all right so this is where i'm going to stop for group 3a element and in the next episode we're going to move to group 4 Right? I'll see you in that next class. Thanks for watching.